Good morning guys, happy Friday, I think it's Friday today. But yeah, long time no vlog, I feel like it's been a little bit since I last vlogged. Actually, there's a little bit of reasoning behind it because this camera, I'm like looking directly into your soul right now, into the lens, because the lens, like it won't close properly. I must have like stupidly got something stuck in the shutter, like the, the little lens cover thing, like the cap so it doesn't close properly but when i turn the camera on if i just like push it open it stays open it's so jacked up but what can i do i don't know if i'm gonna go take it to get it fixed because for the most part i think it's working but anyway we're just gonna roll with it so yeah i'm gonna vlog today let's see how this goes um right now it is it's currently 10 30 in the morning and it is super super gloomy today like raining gloomy that kind of weather and my battery is dying already what the heck i am all over the place i'm a mess i just had to change my battery real quick because apparently i didn't charge it yeah it's 10 30 on a friday i kind of want to go to the gym and get out of the way plus i need to do laundry like i've just been doing laundry all morning because i don't have a dryer so i have to take like my clothes to a laundromat to use the dryer there just because like I don't know, I never would use a dryer normally because over here in Australia, we put our clothes outside like on the line in the sun to dry. But I know in like a lot of other countries, dryers are like a very common thing. Over here, I feel like for me, the way that I was brought up is like you only use the dryer if the weather is shitty and you need your clothes to dry ASAP. Like that's the purpose of a dryer is like for emergencies. But yeah, I just loaded up my car with the loads of laundry that I did earlier this morning. And now I'm just gonna make myself my drink that I bring with me to Z Gym. This stuff, I don't know what, but it just makes me feel good when I'm working out. I feel like it does something for me. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna make this drink. And then I'm gonna bring you guys along with me today. Honestly, today's vlog, Probably won't be very eventful because I'm literally just going to the gym, coming home. Might film a video later today. I don't know. We'll see how I feel. Um, but it's been a long time since I've vlogged. And I know that a lot of you guys do like the vlogs. So that's what we're doing today. Okay, we're going to take a scoopy. One scoop. I'm pretty generous with it. Into here. Can I get this in there properly? Let's see. not bad <laughs> i don't have a funnel that's one thing i need to get that i keep forgetting to to buy is a funnel i'm out here using like pieces of paper this is a what is this a pizza hunt voucher a domino's voucher like okay um yeah i'm resourceful like that okay but now that i got this let's go my clothes here and that was my plan but Loki I feel like I don't know I'm scared someone's gonna take them so I'm just gonna wait I've only got like seven more minutes to go till it's done and then at least I can put everything back in my car and then actually go to the gym properly rather than worrying about it all right guys I just finished my gym session of the day I trained legs and booty and oh my gosh <laughs> my legs are shaking still I don't even know how I'm gonna drive home right now I would have vlogged in the gym but sometimes it's like I don't want to be like out here shoving a camera in everybody's face while they're also working out um, so yeah 
But anyway, the plan now is, what's the time? It is currently 12.55. I'm gonna go home, make myself some food, and then I have some editing to do. Honestly, today was like a get shit done kind of day. Um, and so far it's been pretty productive. Still deciding whether I'm gonna have time to film a tutorial later this evening. Um, Cause I was gonna film it tomorrow, but game four of Cavs vs Warriors is on and I don't really want to like miss it and I have a feeling like after I watch that I won't be in the mood to film so we'll see how it goes hopefully I can get what I want to get done done today but for now I'm gonna go home As you guys can see, I'm home now. I am currently just boiling some water on the stove because I am going to um, poach some eggs. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I think I have eggs, do I? If I don't have eggs, I'm about to be mad. Okay, yeah. But I'm gonna make myself like a late, late breakfast. Lunch, let's just call it lunch, okay? Because I only had something small before I went to the gym this morning. So this is gonna be like a meal and a half because I'm hungry. I wanna make avocado on toast with feta and smoked salmon and eggs and just mm, 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 all that good stuff. So I actually um, like post this on my snap whenever I make it and I always get people asking me like, show us how you make it. Now I'm no like professional when it comes to cooking. I just like do what I do and I eat it. But since you guys have been asking me to show how I do it, I'm gonna show you. This is very like my go-to meal when I wanna be extra and I feel like something good. Cause I feel like a lot of the times whenever I go out to like brunch spots or whatever, I always order something with like salmon, avocado, eggs, like this is like a basic brunch meal for me. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I make it. Yeah, but it'll be down there if you want to check out to there. And then also my hummus originally was in my burger, but I decided to So whenever I poach eggs, it's very difficult to vlog this, but whenever I poach eggs, I always add vinegar into the water as well. I don't know why, but it does something when you poach eggs. Like, you gotta make sure you add the vinegar. I don't know why, but it's a rule. And I know that some people like to like spin the water first and then crack the egg into it so it makes like a vortex and it shapes and forms the egg properly. I'm not too good at that. So I just like crack it in there and like use the spoon to kind of like form it into a ball and keep everything together. But for the most part, I'm just gonna leave those eggs in there to do their thing. I have my toast. We're gonna put avocado on this so we've got the avocado on the toast i'm also going to add some feta but that is very difficult to do one-handed because i need to um like crumble it up as well so that's probably my favorite cheese is feta cheese so i just like to take some and kind of crumble it all on top sometimes i go a little bit overboard with it but i mean it's not gonna hurt you it's okay Let's see how these eggs are doing. I think they're okay. I don't really like have a proper timing thing. To be honest, when I cook, I never follow instructions. Like I'm not one of these people that can follow instructions. I just like eyeball it and I go off like what I think it should be. Even like with measurements when recipes are like, add this much water, add this much stuff. I'm just like, no, we're just gonna do it to taste and I'll decide how it's gonna taste. So I just quickly added some raw smoked salmon on top which i mean i know not a lot of people like raw fish so if you don't you can like put bacon or something else but um yeah at this point i just add the eggs on top this one's like mini i kind of lost some of the egg white so i'm just gonna go like that and then i'm just gonna crack some pink himalayan salt and some pepper on top and then i'll show you what it looks like when it's done so that's pretty much it that's how i do the whole brunch lunch avocado on toast with feta, salmon, and eggs type thing. I also made myself um, iced coffee because, you know, it's that time of the day where I need coffee. So, yeah. Time to eat. 
So it's currently just after 4 p.m. I have been on the computer for the past couple of hours after I finished that food. Um, I was just on the computer editing and I've like hit a wall where I just like really want to go take a nap. But if you know me, you know that I don't like naps. Like I'm not a naps kind of gal. So I was going to make myself a coffee, but then when I was like boiling the water, I saw that I had this. This is just like a matcha tea powder. And I actually really, really like anything green tea, matcha. I'm all about it. Like I really love the taste of it. I know some people really don't like the taste of green tea or matcha. For me, I love it. So good. So this is pretty much just like a green powder, as you can see in the bag. And I'm going to make myself a cup of this because I was going to have a coffee, but I just, I don't know. But I feel like with coffee, it's beyond effective for me. Like for me, coffee, I drink it purely for the taste, not because I needed to stay awake. I don't feel like it does anything in terms of keeping me awake or whatever. So... I'm gonna make myself a mug of this instead. Okay guys, it is currently, I think it's just before 7 p.m. And I am about to head out, it's quarter to seven. But yes, I just put some rice on cause I am gonna cook myself some dinner when I get back. But I am quickly going to head to the grocery store because I don't know why, but I've been craving ice cream all day today and it's cold as hell, like it is freezing in my house. But I don't know why something in me tells me that I need to have ice cream and there's this new ice cream brand that I really wanna try. I am going to go out, see if I can find it. Fingers crossed, if I go out and I can't find it, I'm gonna be mad. Like, okay, I won't be mad, I'll be sad. <laughs> it's like a specific brand of ice cream as well. I will show you guys what I'm talking about, but let's go. Okay, I found the ice cream and I'm so excited. It's from the brand Halo Top. And the reason why I wanted this specific ice cream, I mean, obviously, because it has like only 360 calories per tub, which is crazy. And apparently it tastes really good. I mean, it says it's a source of protein, which if I can get protein from ice cream, why not? Um, vegetarian friendly. I'm pretty sure some of the flavors are also vegan, which is cool. Um, but this one is chocolate chip cookie dough. I'm so excited. Ah, literally, I came to the store just to find this and I found it. So this is my dinner right now. So basic. It's literally just marinated beef with some, I think it's bok choy, I think. But yeah, just that and some rice. I don't know. When I don't feel like cooking, I literally would just make rice and meat and some vegetables and that's it. I'm good. You guys would not believe what just happened to me. While I was eating my dinner, I snapped a bracket off in my mouth and I was, what was I chewing on? I was chewing on rice. Like it wasn't like I was eating some hard candy or something like that. I just had a mouthful of rice and then I heard this click in my mouth and I was like, what the heck? And then I, it just felt different. Like as soon as it snapped, my mouth, like my jaw felt different. So I quickly like swallowed what I was eating and then I checked the mirror. I snapped a bracket off and the spring on this side came off as well. So yeah, I don't know. I already feel it. It feels different. It feels like loose. Like I can't feel the tension pulling the teeth, if that makes sense. Um, but anyways, I can't do anything about it now. So I'm just going to have to wait till tomorrow or Monday to call my orthodontist because it is Friday right now. But I never thought that I would snap a bracket off eating rice. I thought maybe something like chicharron or like something hard, like candy. I don't know. I honestly didn't think it was going to happen while I was eating rice. But anyway, right now... I'm about to test this out. I'm excited, you guys. I mean, for having less calories, I would think that it may not taste as good, but I've heard a lot of people saying that it is really good. So I'm gonna have to find out. So this is chocolate chip cookie dough. Ooh, and already I can see there's like full on chunks in there. So let's see how this is gonna taste. Are you serious? Oh my goodness me. This tastes so good.
No artificial sweeteners, no corn syrup, vegetarian friendly, source of fiber, source of protein. Like how can an ice cream like that taste so good? Oh my goodness, I'm gonna finish this whole tub. Honestly, how much is in this? 473 mils of ice cream. Hell yeah, I'm gonna finish this whole tub. Oh my goodness, you guys, if you have not tried this, do yourself a favor and go and try it and eat the whole thing because you're not going to feel bad because it's only like, what, 360 calories per tub? Mm. Hey guys, it's Sunday morning. I'm about to head to the gym. Am I wearing two different socks? Hell yeah, I am. But I'm pretty sure they're going to get the job done anyway. <laughs> I'm heading to the gym. I woke up late. I was supposed to wake up early. It didn't happen because I was super tired and I slept in. But it's okay. There are still plenty of hours left in the day, so I'm going to go and put this work in. Alright guys, I am home from the gym. Today was actually a back day, so I did that. And now I'm just going to make myself something to eat. I think I just want to have a smoothie bowl. Like I'm not, I don't know, I'm not super hungry because I did have something small before I went to the gym. But yeah, I think I just want to make myself a smoothie bowl because that's like the quickest and easiest thing for me to make right now. And I'm going to show you guys because I always post them on my snap whenever I make them and people are like, how do you do this? So I'm pretty sure I did like a little snap tutorial, a snap tutorial uh, showing like how I make them, but I will show you guys as well. All right, so this is how we do it. We've got coconut water, mixed frozen berries, frozen spinach like i buy my spinach fresh but i just throw it in the freezer because it's easy to keep for longer and bananas and also the other things that i'm going to add on top but for now this is all we need so i would use acai but it's not easily like accessible in the grocery stores over here shout out to one of you guys i'm pretty sure your name is rachel she actually gave me a website where you can buy like packets of the powdered acai mix so i'm gonna have to go and check that out i still haven't done that but for now i just use frozen berries this is very difficult to do one-handed so give me a second all right so i'm just gonna put some into the cup and then i'll get like a handful of spinach chuck that in as well oh i'm making a mess I like spinach. I actually like the taste of spinach even on its own. So if you don't want spinach, don't put spinach. I just, I like it. And of course we've got the banana or banana, however you prefer to say it. <laughs> I'm just gonna put a little dash of this coconut water, not too much. I actually like the consistency of my smoothie bowls to be somewhat thick, just cause it's easier to eat that way. And yeah, that's pretty much everything that I put into the mix. I'm gonna quickly blend this up. Okay, that should be good, I think. All right, so it's at this point where I will obviously pour the mixture into the bowl. This is probably a little bit more runny than I would like it to be, but it's all good. And then I'm gonna do the pretty thing of like adding all the bananas around, but I can't do that with the camera. So let me do that real quick. Now you don't have to be all extra like I am with this, <laughs> but I just like to place the bananas like all cute around the edge make it look all pretty i mean i am just gonna eat it but that's just how i am like i like making things and i like to make them look nice so i don't have to do this but i choose to because i like to you could even put like strawberries or whatever i just don't have any usually i put like bananas strawberries sometimes kiwi fruit to be honest, I don't actually really like kiwi fruit that much. So that's all the banana in there. Now I am going to grab this. This is very hard to do one-handed and my hand is dirty. I don't want to get it on everything. This is just um, like a, what do you call it? Muesli mix. I need to buy more because I'm running out. But what I do is take a little bit and I just put it in the middle. I also like to put chia seeds, so I'll get like a little spoonful and then just sprinkle that shit on there. <laughs> hey 
Okay, so chia seeds are on. And then last but not least, I like to get honey. Now you don't have to put honey, but for me, I do. Just because it makes it taste good. So I just drizzle some honey all around. And yes, I'm generous with it because I like sweet stuff. And there we have it, guys. That is how I make my smoothie bowls. Super quick and easy. I know it doesn't look like much, but this like keeps me pretty satisfied for a reasonable amount of time. And um, yeah, that's what I like to have for breakfast a lot of the time. So now that I've finished making it, it is time to eat. Good morning, guys. I am rushing right now. And I'm out of breath, if you can't tell, because I have so many things I need to get done this morning. And some of them like popped up last minute. So first things first, I have to take my car, drop it off to the repair shop because um, something happened with it, which I'll explain in a second. And then I have to go into the city to go and get my braces looked at because yeah, they broke. Um, so that's what I'm doing this morning. I'm in a rush. I also have to go to CJ's place right now because obviously I'll be without a car and he so kindly offered to take me into the city. So um, that is what I'm gonna be doing right now. I'm rushing, I'm late as usual, but we'll make it on time. I always, I always make it on time. Feel like I'm going to die. What is a girl supposed to do? When I spend my last time in your life, I don't wanna be without you. what happened so basically um maybe a month ago yeah about a month ago i parked my car in a in a spot and it was like parallel park so like on the side of the road and basically somebody scraped my car like bumped into the front end and scraped a little bit of the side of the front um while they were trying to park in front of me there okay and um, yeah, basically somebody hit my car, so I am going to get it fixed today. Would have got it done sooner, but basically we we're just waiting for like a time when the, the repair shop could take me in. So anyways, I gotta go do this. I'm good. I still remember. I haven't been here for so long. Sheesh. It's so quiet. Okay, so the appointment is finished. And now we are currently on our way to go and grab some lunch. I have coffee because I haven't had a coffee today. And yeah, I needed coffee. In terms of my braces, um, yeah, it broke off on Friday, I'm pretty sure. And it was just unfortunate that it was on a Friday because then I had the whole weekend, which gave time for my teeth to shift a little bit, which of course isn't good. Um, but what can you do, you know? So she fixed it all up, put a new bracket on, um, put new bands, all that kind of thing, and also um, changed the top chain. And I thought that meant that I wouldn't have to go to my next appointment, but I'm still gonna be going to my next appointment in three weeks, so 
yeah, that is what the go is for my braces. Yeah, right now we are on our way to go and find some food because neither of us have eaten yet. I don't like to eat before my appointments, just obviously like to be considerate for my orthodontist and whatever. Like I don't like to eat before my appointments. I just make sure that I te clean my teeth really good. So I'm starving right now. All right, lunch is served. I got a, what's this called again? Popcorn chicken salad. Okay, popcorn chicken salad. This is a lot. I don't know how I'm gonna finish it. My favorite fries. Mm -hmm. And what'd you get? Open steak sandwich. Yeah, it's got some nice orange. What's the sauce you're on? I don't know. It looks kind of spicy. Mm -hmm. Maybe it just complements the burger. Man, this is a lot. Wish me luck. So right next door to the restaurant, there's this like really cute um, furniture spot. And oh my goodness. This makes me want to redecorate. Okay guys, I am looking like a sweaty mess right now because I went to the gym earlier and yes, I did train today with makeup on, which is very rare. I rarely wear makeup at the gym, but I was in a hurry today and I just put on my workout clothes and I went. But right now, let me take my hair out because I'm getting a headache. I had a headache earlier and I had to take Panadol. Kind of went away, but then like after working out, kind of came back again. Right now though, I'm going somewhere. So I'm going to bring you guys along with me. I'm going with CJ as well. So let's go. All right, we made it. We're in the valley. Bit of a drive just to go to this spot, but apparently it's worth it. And I'm excited. Ta-da! We made it, it's Doe Lord. All right, so I know this looks like ice cream, but it's actually just pure cookie dough, obviously without any egg in it, but oh, it looks so good. I already had a taste test and I'm ready to eat this whole thing. Uh -huh. I don't even want to spoil it for you, it's freaking amazing. Oh my god, okay, next up on this. Next up we have a red velvet cookie that is freshly baked. CJ's already eaten some. But, do you see all that stuff that is oozing out of it? Oh, the cookie is the way to go. Is it? Yeah. Okay, here's my verdict. Oh, are you serious? Oh my goodness me, that tastes so good. Mm, 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 mm. Alright guys, I'm home and I think I'm going to end the vlog here because I feel so full after that cookie and that ice cream and that cookie dough. Like, oh. I'm gonna fill this tomorrow. Plus, I need to have a shower because I feel gross. I now remember why I don't like to wear makeup when I work out. And I should have taken the time to wipe it off before I went to the gym today, but I didn't. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna say goodnight to you guys. It is currently 10.30. Just kidding, it's already 11 p.m. for me and I have to go to bed because I do have work tomorrow. So I'm gonna say goodnight. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know it was really all over the place and I apologize for that because it was just like random clips and snippets of like here, there, everywhere. But regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed it. But yeah, I'm going to go to bed now and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.